Hey guys, welcome back to Page Art. And if you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure you've heard of the term parametric design or the term parametric. It could be anything. It could be in the ceiling or parametric uh, jewelry or parametric fashion or parametric automobiles or uh, parametric uh, interior designing, anything. But if you know the term parametric design, I'm pretty sure you would want to start like your journey towards it. And now that you open the video, you already know the terms grasshopper and rhino and if you don't know anything about it it's totally fine these are the softwares where you can start your journey towards parametric architecture and building 3d structures uh, which are optimized in the software so for all of that to come into life that is all you know the second half of you know the process because uh, manufacturing and all of that comes after what is built in the software now that you're beginning to learn these softwares, uh, I'll give you two to three options as to how to begin uh, the journey in the first place. So the first thing you're going to do is actually download the software. I'm pretty sure you're uh, like a lot of people have the thought of learning Grasshopper and Rhino, but then you're not starting it. It's just a thought. So to you know make it come to life, the first thing you have to do is download the software. Basically, try understanding what's happening right in the software like all by yourself so that would be the first point which is self-learning and you can also uh, like start exploring all the options that you see on Rhino screen and, and then also if you have Grasshopper which is inbuilt in Rhino 6 the first point would be self-learning and the second thing obviously brings me to YouTube videos there's a lot of tutorials already available on YouTube for Grasshopper coding and like building a code from scratch and also uh, Rhino so I'd like you to check out a, a few videos on uh, YouTube so I'll also put the link in the description below now the second point would be online classes according to me joining an online class is probably the best way you can uh, you know like fall into that uh, journey of you know parametric design because uh, like for me I started I thought of doing a self-study and like understanding all these YouTube videos and tutorials etc but then that flow always breaks because I have my liberty to stop learning whenever I want to and there's no proper flow unless you're actually very uh, like serious about learning it so my best way of telling you to begin your journey with a parametric design or rhino grasshopper would be to join an online class so now that I spoke about an online class, I also have the name of the class that I would want you to join and I would recommend to you because I personally have been the student of that class and it's amazing how much time we were given and uh, for our dumb brains because a lot of people were beginners and we had no clue where to begin with. We only had those softwares in our laptop and we had like no clue how to begin. And that is when uh, Chin My Sir of Equim Education or Equim Designs so this is the class I'm recommending for you because, oh my God, like he has given so much time outside his training hours and uh, he took different, he took extra sessions for us to make us understand the plugins and all the doubts we had because once when we get into coding, the coding process, uh, there's a lot of knots that we'll have to get right. And uh, it was very hard to like get those codes right in the first try, especially for a beginner like me. And there were already students who were, you know, like very fast, but that is only five to six percent of the whole class. So we were like given so much extra time and extra care by him. And I would totally recommend you to this class. This class, basically how it started was in the morning, uh, 10 o'clock or in, uh, like around 9.30, 10 o'clock. And the session was till the evening. But then uh, with the lot of doubts we had, the session always for the four to five days we had, it always extended till 7.30 to 8 o'clock. And we were all actually happy and ready to learn from him. Though it was very hard for both of us, you know, to like actually sit there and sit there for the whole day and learn. But then it was a great experience. I would say that it would be like a kickstart. I've given all the descriptions below. And now what I'm gonna do is uh, like put up a few images of what my work was. So this is parametric facade development and this is a skyscraper and these three are the renders of that and this one over here is a pavilion design and this one is uh, made out of Catamel Clark subdivision used on a mesh 
and over here this is a pavilion and the next image is the render which is like a very simple render on photoshop so over here i try to understand the load bearing structures of you know the similar ones of the chhatrapati shivaji airport in mumbai and the next one is like a parametric walk through a uh, pavilion and over here these two pictures are of a parametric chair uh, which is nothing but vertical contouring and the next one is a uh, general form finding uh, you know like experiments and this one over here if you can observe this is similar to the uh, beijing uh, stadium and i've tried to like copy the same thing and understand the uh, you know like coding behind it so now very quickly i'd like to show a few of the designs that are uh, you know that my fellow mates did in the class during you know equim designs so i'll just run those very fast now by the way if you're one of my subscribers and have no clue what's happening in this video i'd like you to go and check out what parametric design is in the first place and how would you want structures like these to come into life and how would you actually begin with it in the first place so that is it for the video and whatever pictures that i've shown you right now are already on my instagram page so uh, basically i put up a, a lot of grasshopper codes and also my work on rhino so if you are interested you could always go and check that out on my instagram and that's it for today bye i'll be back with a new video next week